Hello again, everybody. Sebastian Keynes here with another Watch Your Runs video. In this one, I'm going to introduce you to the seven new pieces of exclusive gear that have been introduced to the game. I'm going to show you which heroes are getting it and what their special attributes are. The first hero that is getting his uh, new piece of exclusive gear is going to be Iobar, the Piercer, the Lord Piercer. He is going, uh, his exclusive is going to be in the Wicked Vengeance set, critical damage 40%, attack percent, uh, attack an additional 10%. Okay. Now, uh, when it comes to his exclusive attribute, the triggering of the infinite blade grants him an additional 30% damage uh, increase for five seconds. Now, this is the, the, the only caveat to this is you got to make sure that he builds all of his swords before that comes into effect. So you will have to, you know, time his ultimate uh, uh, to make sure that he does have all his blades up. Now, the other thing that I was looking at, I was trying to get multiple pieces here in the test server for each one of these. I was uh, fortunate enough to forge two. But one of the things that, that I had noticed from the previous batch that was introduced into the game is that the top two substats were always fixed and the RNG came down on the bottom two. And it appears that for Iobar, the crit rate and the attack speed are going to be the two that are going to be fixed here on top. So before I show you Uridin, uh, who is gunning his also his own P, uh, exclusive weapon here in the in the Wicked Vengeance set, let's look at his talent really quick. Just to a fresh reminder that when after his ultimate is cast, the basic attack will turn into a Phantom Strike for 15 seconds. The Phantom Strike deals 100% uh, AOE damage to at most 10 en uh, enemies in the range of the ultimate. Now, eventually, if he does build up his point and search to the max, that basic attack can turn into a soul harvest for 15 seconds. And in this one, he deals 120% AOE damage two times to at most 10 enemies in range when he activates the ultimate. Now, what does this uh, exclusive uh, give him? Well, one of the things he'll give him is Rage Region. So you're going to be building Rage Region a little bit quicker. And that's perfect because some uh of the end game players or you know top competitors uh they don't consider his damage to be uh on par so with the other heroes that we have in the game especially the ones that can be acquired through ancient summoning so to get him to come back to his ultimate maybe that'll get his uh damage to uh, get him to do a little bit more damage over the long run but then the the phantom strike and the soul harvest will deal an additional 30 percent extra damage when it's active when the ultimate is um activated but this according to this will only occur one time so i think that for if you do equip this piece of gear onto him that that first ultimate you want to make sure that you build it to the max before you activate it so you then are able to take advantage of the attribute uh in full when you activate that ultimate so i did try to get multiple copies of the uridin's exclusive because i was curious to see if the subsets uh here would be fixed in terms of what he would get and what is really interesting is that all of these pieces came with attack bonus, crit rate, and attack speed, which makes me wonder if this three are the ones that are going to be guaranteed. But I can't say for sure right now that that is going to be the case. It may be one of the two. Attack bonus, crit rate, attack speed, crit rate, or attack bonus with attack speed. I guess we'll just have to keep forging more just to see which two are in fact the ones that are going to be fixed but my guess right now you know it could be all three because all three showed up on the same pieces and it just came down to the fourth uh one so yeah so i'll have to forge more to to to, to really figure out which two uh are going to be the ones that are fixed Right, so the other hero that is getting her own piece of exclusive gear, unfortunately, I was only able to get one, so I can't really tell you about the subs that are going to be fixed. I'm going to have to rely on the rest of the community, especially the four people, to kind of get an idea of which ones are going to be. 
but she is going to gain extra 15% crit rate right off the bat. So you may not actually even have to worry about crit rate on, on her piece if if you wanted to build, if you can get 85% from the, all the other uh, pieces. But the other thing from her blood source, so if you remember her ultimate, the blood source applies vulnerability, magic and uh, physical damage vulnerability. Not only that, she gets, to, uh, if enemy dies, she gets to build up her Scarlet uh, Ferment. She gets extra health out of it and she herself heals. But one of the things is that because of the vulnerabilities, which is really what makes her effective on some of the stuff that we do uh, do in game, that here her exclusive piece of gear will increase that by five seconds. And then, of course, to an extent, will increase the vulnerabilities being applied so if you're in a long-term battle against the boss for example you're gonna get the vulnerability for five more seconds the other fighter that is getting his own piece of exclusive gear is arrogance now arrogance again uh, i tried to forge as many pieces as I, as I could for him to try to see if i can kind of get a hint of which substats are going to be the ones that appear more frequently in his gear to be honest it looks like it's attack speed. That's it. That's the only commonality that I was able to find between the species. So I think the devs might have noticed something about the gear, the being forged, that there were always perennially two, or they might just be that for arrogance they decided, no, we'll give him more RNG in terms of it. But it looks like in all the pieces, attack speed was the staple whether the other subsets come into play we'll see again i'm gonna have to get more data especially from the community or whatever i can forge here in the test server to try to figure out exactly what the commonality is going to be but at least in this set it looks like it's just one is the attack speed now what does he gain from uh from his um from his exclusive attribute the hellfire his Hellfire skill cost will be reduced by 100. Just as a reminder, the Hellfire uh, initially is 400, 750 during the battle if you have it fully skilled. Now you're gonna have, but we're gonna be able to bring this down to 650. Now, will that deal additional damage if you're able to form a, um, a Cataclysm set? Well, that that's something that we're I'm gonna try to test, but I need better pieces to truly test this, so I can compare it to a Solbona kind of set, for example. So the Cataclysm, just as a reminder, when the lands a crit hit uh, with its basic attack, it increases the hero's damage by nine percent for five seconds, stacking up to five times. So essentially, this Cataclysm here just became like a glorified Night Terror set. So we'll, we'll, we'll give it a whirl, we'll give it a test. I just need to find a very good piece uh, before I'm able to do that. And as you can see here, uh, even though it's an attack, uh, attack bonus um, main stat, I do need something with crit rate. So it, that, I'm gonna go try to uh, fish that out eventually. But that's his exclusive here. You're gonna get reduced cost on the health fire. The last three are gonna be mages. So let me go first on the Northerners. The Northerners and it's going to be Shamir. That's right, Shamir is getting his exclusive gear. Now for him, it's going to be a Hell Lament, uh, Hell Lament uh, set. And let me make sure I get the right one. It's an amulet, it's an attack speed. Attack speed main stat amulet, which is fine because that is exactly what you know how you want to build him you want to give him as much speed as possible so he can rage region as quickly as he can he can come to his ultimate and then either you're going to be controlling people or if your build is um, um created well where you get a good mix of control and damage you're going to be able to tackle those single uh targets uh fairly well all right so the Hellament set, just as, an, as a reminder, when the ultimate is triggered, it increases damage by 30% and uh, increases damage by 30% and critical damage by 40%, lasting for eight seconds. So what does exclusive attribute give him? When dealing damage with the ultimate, it reduces the target's magic resistance by 20% for five seconds. This is big now because now because you're giving him attack speed 
now you're able to then compensate for that perceived loss of damage because you're not giving them an attack bonus, right? Uh, percentage amulet. Maybe this makes up for it. But again, for me, Element is not one of my favorite sets for damage right now. But we'll give it a whirl. We'll test test it out, and you know, just just to see how well Shamir can uh, can take advantage of his exclusive. I tried to forge multiple pieces just to see what the substats look like. Again, it looks to be random. Again, uh, the one stat that I am noticing that is a little bit fixed in between all of them is crit rate. At least that's what I was. Uh, so I have crit rate attack bonus here i have attack bonus critical damage i think in this one actually in this one we might get a little bit more rng than we want so that's one of the things at least for shamir's that i'm not seeing any consistent stats coming into play but at least in, in a couple of the pieces that got i got rage region i guess that's good we have crit rate and attack bonus here Crit rate, crit damage. We would want attack bonus uh, to be the perfect piece for this. But again, at least with this specific exclusive piece of gear, the two rules not applying. The fixed two rules not applying. These look to be very, very random. The other mage that I want to uh, that we want to tell you about is actually is a cultist, and it's one that we typically don't play a whole lot because he is a little bit underwhelming. So, what exactly does his exclusive uh, give him? So, his is a bangle attack bonus. So that's good. I was only able to forge one, unfortunately, from what I had here in the test server. So I can't tell you exactly what the substats that might be fixed might be. It might be random. So for this one, it's a crapshoot, it's a guess. But what is exclusive attribute in, uh, in the Cataclysm set? It extends the ultimate duration by 10 seconds. During the ultimate, each enemy that dies in range, so you have to make sure that enemies die, uh, increases Celsius damage by 1% up to 20 times. So this is one going to be during the ultimate. So the duration of, extends the ultimate durations by 10 seconds. And we're already at 10 seconds. That's how long less. So within that 20 seconds, you have to make sure that you kill enough enemies to get that boost up to 20%. We already know how good the, the running sticks is. Uh, he's one of these heroes that needs to be a five to try to get him the most out of him. You need to fully skill him. He's still high cost. And now we're switching his gear from to, to make this apply. We would have to switch him from a Soban to a Cataclysm. Or do we break the set to try to get the, just to get the ultimate extended? Ugh, it'll be interesting. It will be, this one is definitely going to be interesting to test to see if just the attribute increases his damage. Do you sacrifice too much if you destroy a soul bonner kind of set to take advantage of this? Or... Is the Cataclysm going to be enough for him to do this? Again, I'm going to have to test. This has to be tested. It has to be tested so we can truly really get an assessment of how good that special attribute is going to be for Celis. All right. The final hero, the seventh hero that is getting his exclusive from this patch is going to be Comet. He's going to get his own bangle. Uh, uh, let's see here. He's in the element set. So remember, the element is when you activate the ultimate, you get a boost in damage by 30%. You get critical damage by additional 40%. Now, uh, the sap set, unfortunately, I was not able to get multiple pieces. So I can't tell you for sure if the, any of the substats are fixed or everything here is random. Now, for me, this is going to be an okay piece to try to test and try to put one of these sets together. 
Comet's special attribute is going to give him Rage Regen Auto plus one. So this will allow us to come back to his ultimate a little bit quicker. You know, sometimes we need to bring in Laurel Laya just to get him boosted, just to make sure that he can come back a little bit quicker. If he's getting damage, maybe Hollow will do it. But any opportunity that we can get to get his ultimate a little bit quicker, the better. Now, his ultimate will also gain a damage multiplier of plus 20%. So he's going to be dealing an additional 20% in his multiplier we already know how strong this is each attack deals 400 percent aoe damage if you have a full skill lasting for 20 seconds so this here now they're saying the multiplier gets 20 percent so again we're gonna have to test that to see how efficient that is especially in this set the hell's lemon set and then compare it to like a solvent kind of set for example those are the seven new pieces of exclusive gear that was recently added to the game. Again, we have no timetable as to when this is going to be introduced into global, but I do know that in Forerunners, we do have a chance to test them out. People are going to be able to get them if they were able to, they're able to forge enough materials and they're able to get lucky to get that perfect piece. Now here in the test server, we definitely can do some uh, tests uh, to, to see which one uh would ben which hero would benefit the most from their exclusive gear to put him in that particular set and give up on that specific t2 set that we prefer to use them in currently in the game thank you all very much for tuning in and watching as always if you appreciated the content please do hit like and subscribe and i will see you all in the next watch our realms video